Hey gents, I've had some great feedback on my BMW i3 video, and one of the questions that came up, and a few others have emailed me about it, is about the cruise control. So there is active cruise control in, in my car, and they offer it in other BMW models. There's adaptive cruise control, which all BMWs come with, and then there's active cruise control, which is where it intelligently speeds up, brakes, and, and keeps a certain distance from the car in front of you, which is one of my favorite features of this car. I talked about it in my other video, but today what I'm going to do is take you on my commute with me. I drive 50 miles every day, 25 to work, 25 back, and it, it works out to be about an hour of a drive uh, each way, but in that drive I encounter stop and go traffic, highway traffic, and some uh, on and off ramps when I'm going to work. And so what I'm going to do today is drive to and from work without using either of the pedals. I won't use the brake and I won't use the uh, it would be a gas pedal, but people in electric cars call it go pedals. Because I don't want to do this in real time, I'm going to speed it up so that you can come along, but you can slow it down in the YouTube gear down below if you want to follow along a little bit closer. And what I'm going to do is when I position the camera back here, I'll show you where you can look to see how many times I press the pedal instead of just using the on and off buttons here. Here's how I'll be driving this morning. You turn on the cruise control with this button, then you set the speed with this dial here. These two buttons are what allows you to select how close or how far you want to follow the car in front of you. And then resume is after the cruise control turns off, you can go back to the speed that you had set and it will then keep an intelligent distance away from the car in front of you. To engage the cruise control, you have to be going at least 20 miles per hour. The red speed on the top of the screen here shows the speed that you'll set use the dial to set the speed and then it's green and when this cruise control is deactivated it goes to red in order to reactivate it you can hit the resume button or if you're in stop and go traffic if you press the gas pedal or the go pedal then it will re-engage so i'm not sure that you can see my dashboard up here but i will be driving this almost entirely without touching the gas or the brake sorry not gas pedal <laughs> Once I get down to the bottom of this hill here, that's when I'll set the cruise control and just let it do its thing. Now there isn't, uh, I know in the 7 Series, I believe they offer, you can do uh, steering control. In the i3, they do not offer that, but I believe they're having it come out on new models. So all that the active cruise control does in this car is keep your uh, distance from the car in front of you. And I've said it in my other video as well, is when I don't have this feature in my other car, we have a Ford Escape that we use as our family car, and when I drive that, it just feels, uh, it feels very, I don't know, I miss it whenever I do it. So once I get to the bottom of this hill, I'm going to engage the cruise control, and then it'll be smooth sailing from there. So 24 of my 25 miles, I won't use the uh, go pedal or the brake pedal. There you have it, gents. Hope that helped to kind of illustrate the active cruise control in the car. I do want to note too that in the video, uh, the perspective of the camera made it look like I was a lot closer to the vehicles in front of me. I was not that close. I do have the setting on the closest 
version because when you don't keep up with traffic in front of you, people beep at you. Uh, but I, was, I wasn't as close as it looks in some of the videos. If you have any questions about the i3 or the cruise control, you can check out my full BMW video review. I'll put that to a link up here. And you can also reach out in the comments or over on Twitter at the underscore Cavalier. Make sure you're subscribed to learn about the best menswear on the internet. Occasionally I do throw in some of these videos like, like my i3 review, but for the most part on this channel, I cover the best new menswear companies on the internet, the ones that are only online and you can't really buy in stores. Looking forward to more videos and until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.